everyone, it's Karen Dubbs. Again, I'm going to film just a short, flexible road warrior sequence for you. So if you do a few parts of these together, hopefully you'll have just a few ideas of what you can take with you when you're traveling, okay? So I know it's the last thing on your mind, it's probably the last thing you feel like doing, but just give me three minutes, join with me, I swear you're going to feel a lot better, okay? So flip your legs back, let's come into child's pose for a few breaths. Ooh, little grasshopper. <laughs> Right? No arm. Shift forward. Come into downward dog. I want you to feel really kind of grounded here in your downward dog because especially since you've been traveling, um, you know, it's good. It's, it's hard. It, it makes you feel kind of ungrounded, unstable. So feel grounded in your new environment. Take a few breaths here in and out through the nose. And then we're going to do a few half flow sequences. So come to plank. Keep the abs strong. Lower down. And then back into your downward dog. And just do that a few more times, okay? If you want to come into your full upward dog instead of cobra, you can give that a try. Okay, so whichever feels good for you. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So this is really important, especially if you're in a new time zone. Okay? Let's um, release the knees. Step one foot forward. Come into a crescent lunge. So you're going to interlace your fingers and do a little bit of an extra back bend with your crescent lunge. Just open up the posture. Expand the lungs. Gentle back bend. Go ahead and release. Take the hands up. Let's take a few sun breaths while we're here. So inhaling and exhaling. Good. One more time. Inhale. And then bring the hands down. Curl the back toes under and step back to downward dog. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So release the knees. Step the opposite foot forward. Come up into your low lunge. Interlace the fingers. Open up the chest, breathe in. See, I feel better already. Good. You can do this in your hotel room. You can just get a towel. Or you can take it outside if you have some space to do that. So let's take a few breaths. Okay, get your sun breath in. Energy in with the inhale. And out one more time. Inhale. So let's bring the hands down. We're going to come into a straddle stretch. So you're going to walk around, take the legs out really wide, plant the palms, and then bend the elbows and bring the forehead down towards the floor. You can shake out the neck a little bit. Wow, the view of the Rocky Mountains back there is gorgeous. <laughs> Good. Few breaths in straddle stretch. And then we're just going to twist the spine a little bit from here. So just take it out and twist and open up. And then switch sides. Out, twist, open up, inhale. And exhale. Walk around to one foot. Take it back to downward dog. Stretch out the calves a little bit. Release the knees. Let's come into hero's pose. So if you just sit back onto your heels, and just to get a little bit more centered, take the backs of the hands and rest them onto the thighs. Bring your thumb and your index finger together to touch. 